So, who can tell me what's wrong with the eyes in this picture? Yes, the handsome young man on the beach. They look like sh Wow. Harsh, but absolutely correct. The reason the eyes look so bad in that older version of Walter is that at the time, I didn't know about this super handy trick for making eyes look more realistic. And that is, instead of just using a simple sphere for the eyes and putting the pupil and the iris on with a texture, it actually helps a lot to model the iris like so. And the reason that makes a big difference is that when you light it, that inset iris catches some of the light and creates this little glint that adds a lot of life and depth to the eye. In fact, I've even found that a lot of times that glint in the iris is even more important than the little tiny white speck of light that people are always trying to get. Um, it still helps a lot, but sometimes when the character is facing away from the light source, it just looks a bit too fake if you have that little white spot. And as long as you get the glint into the iris, it will give it enough life that you don't really need that other highlight. One other thing that I found that helps a lot when you're dealing with eyes is that, at least in this cartoon world, realism is really not the best way to go. You want to draw the audience's eye towards that spot so much that it helps a lot to do a completely separate pass for the eyes. In this case, here's what it looks like when I just use the basic lighting setup that I talked about in episode three. And then on top of that, I use the screen composite mode to put this other pass of the eyes. And you can see that that is where I'm actually doing all of my highlights and my little tricks to the eye to give it that extra boost. It also helps render quite a bit faster because this is a pass that I found I have to tweak several times before I get it just right. Sorry it's been such a short podcast this week. I'm out of town, so I've kind of had to squeeze it in. If you wouldn't mind dropping me either a comment or an email, I'm trying to get an idea of what 3D software packages people are using. That'll help me figure out the best way to do some of the episodes like rigging and rendering and stuff like that. So until next week, if you haven't checked out the blog yet, be sure to do that. I'm trying to update that every couple of days, and I will see you next week with another podcast.